Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. In today's video I am going to be making two cards and decorating two envelopes. And the supplies that I am using are things that I have gotten in the mail from pen pals and handmade paper. I've gotten a lot of handmade paper recently um, since I professed my love for it and I haven't really been using it and I'm making an effort to do that. Um, I also hand dyed one of the cards. I just used some tea and then that piece of paper right there is some paper that I made. Um, but I do want to apologize right off the bat. I know there's going to be a pop up soon, but the angle does go a little funny towards the middle and the end of this video and I'm aware of it. I apologize. I had the calico cat on my desk when I was filming this and I didn't realize how far down she pushed me inadvertently and um, the framing does get a little bit weird and some parts are a little bit cut off, but I bring everything in closer at the end so you can see everything in detail. But I just wanted to apologize and I'm aware of it, but I hope that you guys still like this and are inspired anyway. But um, like I said, I made that paper. I just used um, some crinkle paper that I got in a package. It was a really pretty yellow color and then I just put it into my blender and um, it came out to be this really beautiful pale yellow. I made a bunch of paper out of it and I really like the process. I'm not a professional by any means, but it was fun to do. And then I have a lot of really pretty handmade papers from the um, brand Softly Studio and Cotton Crescent. Both of these girls are amazing. Their talent is endless and I'm always inspired by them. And to be able to have some papers from their shops is just really special to me. Um, the Soft Lace Studio paper was sent to me, but um, I did personally purchase from Cotton Crescent. She's um, also a Florida girl, so I wanted to support another Florida gal. And um, yeah, it was just really fun. So I'm really excited to be working with these handmade papers now and not hoard them anymore. <laughs> This fun little flip book was actually sent to me by a pen pal of mine. I think she's amazing. I'm constantly in awe of her creativity, but I wanted to use some of the wax steels that she sent and she just went ahead and attached some adhesive to the back of it so that it wasn't um, very hard for me to be able to peel it off and use it. And then she also did some typed messages and stamped messages that were really lovely. So I included those. And then this is the card that I hand dyed. I used a regular um, breakfast tea and then I used like a berry tea to get that um, altered color. And um, unfortunately I did soak it for, uh, and then I tried to move it too quickly and the corner ripped. So I just went ahead and put some fabric tape from Tim Holtz down on the corner to try to um, kind of support that a little bit and to fix the tear. I really love how this turned out. Like I said, I just used two different teas and soaked them at two different times. And the colors came out really wild. And I'm really proud of the fact that the colors came out so different, but I end up covering most of it, which is fine, but it was still a fun process. I love doing stuff like that randomly. I don't um, do a whole bunch of things in batches. I just sort of get an idea. I knew I was doing this video and wanted to add just a little bit more texture to what I was doing and just went ahead and soaked it in the morning and then filmed in the afternoon. I actually think it was the next day because I had to let it dry a little bit. But yeah, I mean, you can use pretty much anything if you wanted, but um, tea is really easily accessible. I get a bunch of it in the mail. So I'll make myself a cup and then I'll take the bag. You can see Kelly <laughs> getting into the frame and you can sort of tell like as the video goes on, she pushes me further and further out of frame. Um, but I make myself a cup of tea and I drink it and then I just take the bag and put it in another cup and let it steep even longer and that color comes out and then I just put it into a pan and lay the paper in it. Um, for the berry tea, I only laid half of it in, but for the regular tea, I laid the whole card in and I want it to sort of get that like different color variant there, which is why I only put half of it in and why it tore, but it was still fun. It's a process that counts. Um, and then these items that were included in that little pocket folder thing, I just, <sighs> this gal has endless talent and it's just amazing all the way, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm always so happy to use the stuff that she has. Sometimes it can be a little intimidating to use a lot of what I get because I do get quite a bit. Um, but making the effort 
to um, put the work in and use the things is always worth it. <laughs> um, there's my little thing. This is sort of where the video gets kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so I hope everybody is doing well. I just got out of our monthly letter writing meetup with um, the Tampa Bay Letter Writers and it was a two and a half hour meetup and it was done on Zoom and it was just so incredible to chat and um, sort of had this gathering of minds with people that have similar interests to mine and I am on a high right now. <laughs> Today we were working with wax seals and one of the members, Valerie, made us a little beginners to wax seal kit and sent everybody these little amazing kits and we got to work together and play with the supplies and it was just a ton of fun. It was super thoughtful and um, yeah, I just really enjoyed it. <laughs> so um, yeah, the kids are all with my husband. They went to my mother-in-law's house for breakfast and for a swim because they knew I had this meetup and they wanted to keep the house quiet for me. And so I'm doing this voiceover before they get back, taking advantage of my time use here. And yeah, I just hope everybody is doing well. Um, the school um, starts soon for the boys. I think they start not this coming week, but the next. And I know that they're really excited to get back to their friends, but um, we are definitely a bit more nervous this year sending them back to school because um, the vibe has sort of changed here in Florida, and especially in our little bubble. We just really were not deeply, um, I don't want to say affected because we were all affected, but we just didn't have high, high numbers in our area. And it finally came. Um, we have a lot of the Delta variant running rampant in my county and um, in my very small circle in the last month, I know of no less than 30 people who have gotten covid and it's a little bit nerve-wracking for sure. I have definitely isolated myself a little bit more than I um, had been in the months prior. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we did not leave the house all week this week. Uh, I'm just trying to be super cautious. I don't want to get my kids exposed to anything and send them to school. I don't want to get exposed to anything because I can't get sick. I'm... I don't have the luxury because I have to take care of these beautiful babies. But here's a picture of Callie so you guys can sort of see like what she's doing. Um, when I took this picture, she had sort of rotated the opposite direction, but her back is what you can see there. And um, yeah, I'm really sorry for the angle. <laughs> I hope that you guys aren't too frustrated with me and are still sort of um, grasping what was going on. The lighting was changing during this video. I was fighting with my cat for space. A huge storm rolled over us and it went completely dark. I don't know how my lighting didn't change in this video. I'm super impressed with that. It did not get pitch black because it was dark <laughs> in my house and in this room. But um, yeah, so um, yeah, here's a picture of the storm that blew over. That's the look out of my back window and it was nasty. <laughs> so lucky, I guess, that the lighting didn't go bad, but uh, I hope everybody is doing well and enjoying the last few weeks of summer. For us, it's going to continue until well into October. Um, August and September, really. September and October are usually our most miserable months. Uh, I don't know why that is. I'm so ready for September and October to, for the temperatures to sort of cool down and to start putting out all of my fall decorations, but not here. Not here. September... October are just awful for us. So we have got several more months and because our spring lasted for such a long time, I am pretty certain that we are not going to get a break until well into November. Um, our summer is just going to drag on this year, which is fine. I was happy to have a longer spring, but um, yeah, it's hard for a person like me. I grew up in uh, on the eastern shore of Maryland, so I am used to my seasons. And I say this all the time. Every year I complain about the weather, but I think I'm getting used to it. I just know not to leave the house. But anyway, so I'm going to bring everything in a little bit closer. I did slow the video down so you guys could actually get a really good look at what I had done because I did feel terrible about um, getting pushed out of frame, but I hope that you have enjoyed this video and are inspired and encouraged to use some handmade papers. I think the result came out really fun 
and I love using supplies that I get in the mail and being able to see it all come together like this is just really fun. That's going to be it for me today. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.